There are allegations a local company is sending the test to consumers without their permission. The company then allegedly bills Medicare for the cost. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles is here with the exclusive story for us. Jason. Judy Liz, it may sound strange, an unwanted COVID-19 test showing up at your home without you ordering it. The problem is so bad that the Better Business Bureau has issued an alert and Medicare is telling consumers to check statements. I said, no, I don't want them. I don't want them. I don't want them. And finally, I just hung up. Brent Weeks says even after refusing those COVID-19 tests, Mars Lab services on the city's north side sent these tests, which will expire in September, to his home outside of Seattle. The package showed up. I mean, this is it. It's the the, the Mars Labs, and, and inside were the... The standard, I mean, they're the, they're the standard COVID tests. Weeks showed us his Medicare statement, including the $96 charge for a box of COVID-19 tests from Mars Lab Services. It could be a form of Medicare fraud. The Better Business Bureau says Weeks and 11 other consumers have filed complaints against Mars Lab Services since the end of May, and the BBB has now issued an alert on the company. The consumers are alleging that they're receiving COVID tests not being ordered and also uh, Medicare is being billed for them without their knowledge or authorization. Another consumer outside of Washington, D.C. got a box of tests and saw a charge from Mars Lab Services on his Medicare statement. He never ordered those tests. How does this make you feel? Uh, used. I and my wife would say to them that what they're doing is wrong and they should stop it. I called and emailed Mars Lab Services, then went to its listed Chicago address on the 2300 block of West Tui. I left a card but have not yet heard back. And look at this. When you inspect those Medicare statements consumers provided us, they say the government paid $96 of the $200 total charge. The consumer balances say zero for now, but the BBB says the company could still bill consumers for what Medicare didn't cover. The consumers could be on the hook for this. And obviously, they're going to be very upset about it, but we have not seen it yet. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services tell the I-Team it's investigating complaints about unsolicited over-the-counter COVID-19 tests arriving in the mail and that consumers should check statements and report suspected fraud. I did not order it, clearly and flatly. He did not want that test. In June, the Federal Trade Commission issued an overall alert, the FTC saying fraud like this and mistakes cost Medicare an estimated $60 billion each year. Liz, Judy, this is a reminder to check your Medicare statements and report all of those issues immediately. You have to look closely. We put the information on our website, abc7chicago.com. That'll help you navigate and report an issue. Always the fine print. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really good information. Okay, Jason, thank you. And by the way, if you have a tip or a story idea for Jason, you can call him at 312-750-7TIP. Right now, live look out.